This is a video for how to go about creating a number 11 in your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360. Now, when you look at this object, I want you to notice that there's multiple ways to go about creating any object. We can tackle this different um, through different methods. I'm going to go through just trying to create a solid, and we're going to do some fillets, and we're going to use um, some slots, and I'm going to try to use the whole command. So in this case, what we want to look at is we want to look at our total width of the object, our total height of the object, and the total depth of the object. And I'm going to create kind of a letter L solid shape, and then round off some edges. So in this case, we want to try to find the width like when it starts to curve how do we find out what that depth distance is so in this case you're going to notice that from our center point here if i come out here this is where it really stops being straight and it starts to curve so right here i go two here so the radius of this large arc is two so i'm going to say that's two and then from here i'm going to go one oh, excuse me three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven wide so let's start there so i'm going to come up to new design and i'm going to click on my create sketch and i'm going to go 11 wide so i'm just going to click along here and i'm going to put in 11 and hit enter and click on my magnifying glass so it zooms out for me so i'm going to go back to my object here and i'm going to count up now the best way to count up is from the top all the way down here to the bottom so i'm going to go one two Two, three, four, five, six tall. So I'm going to go to my line command. Excuse me. I'm going to go to my line command here. I'm going to click on my origin and I'm going to go up and it's going to be six tall. And I'm going to click on my magnifying glass. Zoom out a little bit. Use your mouse wheel, whatever is comfortable for you. That The zoom command really fits it all the way sometimes. And sometimes you need a little bit of room to see. So from left to right, one, two, three, four. I'm going to go to my line command. I'm going to come over four. And I'm going to hit enter. Now remember, from the, this distance up here to the top is going to be a distance of two. So we know that by looking up here, it's just these two distances. We're going to find the, the height of this like ledge right here, if you will. So we come back to Fusion 360. I can go ahead and just come up a distance of two. I can kind of drag along my grids here. I'm going to drag over, reference this line. And as I drag over and I come straight down, you're going to notice it'll turn blue for me when I hit right here. I'm going to click. I'm going to go straight up and click again. I'm going to right click and say OK. You're going to notice that as I go to finish sketch and click on my house button, I've kind of created this object as if though we just drew lines off the side and made it come out and hit a plane. Now our depth back, we can count on the flat surface here is four. So we're going to go to extrude. We're going to drag back negative four and we're going to hit enter. So we have this solid object. Now we've got all this mass. We've got way too much mass going on. This thing weighs way too much. It, we're going to use the fillet command. And in using the fillet command, basically what you're doing is you're saying, I want to, you know, kind of sand off the edges here. So we want to sand off these edges. You're going to notice we said that the diameter in this case is four, one, two, three, four. So our radius is going to be two. So when I go back into here and I say this, excuse me, um, this edge, I want to click on edge, it's actually click on the surface. This edge right here and that edge right there should be two. And you're going to notice automatically it's going to create this thing of tangency. And when I say, I'm going to go ahead and say okay real quick. When I say tangency, what that means is you're going to notice that these two curves do not overlap. This is perfectly rounded off. If I went in three, this would look kind of bizarre. But given that the width from here to here is four, a radius of two makes perfect sense. We're going to do the exact same thing on these two edges right here. Notice that our depth from here to here is four, so our radius will be two. We're going to go to fill it. We're going to click on this edge. We're going to click on that edge. We're going to put in two and we're going to say enter. So remember, there's multiple ways we could have gone about doing this. We could have done some of these things in sketch mode, but it all works out OK. So we're going to create for ourselves a new sketch on this surface. And we need to draw ourselves this little slot and then cut it. So instead of drawing two circles and lines, Fusion has some pretty easy shortcuts to use when you go about creating um, certain objects. So we're going to go ahead and click on this surface and it's going to turn for us. When we go to create, we're going to go down to slot and it's going to give us all these different ob options and we want to go a center to center slot because what we want to say is you know what's the distance from here to here and center here is going to be one two three is going to be our center distance so when i go into center to center slot i'm going to go to slot i'm going to go to center to center i want to kind of reference this out here i want to find the center point notice i have not clicked i just reference the outside and i see this dot show up and that is the center of this arc. So when I click, I'm going to drag to the left and I want to put in three. 
and I'm going to hit enter. And as I drag out, you're going to notice it started creating that slot. Now, if I come back down here, what they're asking is, you know, what's the distance from here to here? What is that exact distance? And as I'm dragging, I'm going to put in a distance of two. And I'm going to hit two, and I'm going to hit enter. And right now, we have this thing looks kind of like a hockey rink. So notice that we said center to center. You know, there was multiple ways it was going to ask us how to create. And sometimes the easiest way is just to find the two center points of your arcs and go that route. I'm going to go to finish sketch. I'm going to go to extrude. I'm going to click inside the object, operation, cut, distance, all. And we want to go all the way through the object to the bottom side. Say OK. And we now have cut through that object, just like that. So the only thing we have left to do is to put the hole through this object. In placing the hole through the object, we want to come up to the hole command. And what we want to do is we want to say on this surface, we're going to create for ourselves a hole. Now, there's different ways we can go about kind of referencing where to place this hole. And what's nice about Fusion 360 is I can just click on this and drag, and you can see it kind of snap to the center point of this arc. And basically, it's automatically finding the center point of our arc. Now, we have to come in now and say, well, what's the diameter of the hole? The diameter of the hole is going to be 2. So when we go back to 360, we want to say over here, you know, the diameter in this case is 2. The distance is all. So it's just going to be 2. We don't have to worry too much about these angles because we're going all the way through the objects. So when we go all the way through the object, you're going to see it come out on the other side, and we're going to say OK. So the neat thing about Fusion is we can kind of drag around the actual object and say place it here as opposed to putting in dimensions. So what you'll notice now is that you have completely finished your number 11 for your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360.